ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st annual Passover. All I ever want. Yo, this is crazy, yo. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. Back in 1985, I came into Israelite School of UPK. There were 20 wooden chairs on the men's side. And those chairs weren't even filled up. Less on the women's side. Now, we are at the arena. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to them all. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser, I don't like people either I don't care if your Nas or Jigger ain't wanna meet you Just give me my motherfucking check if we do a feature Tell Michael Jordan he can keep his fucking sneakers Walk inside your favorite church and just drop your preacher Cause he ain't gonna drop the right shit that he should teach you But what about Obama? Nigga, I don't like him either What has he done for us? We're gonna be located at the Westchester County Center 198 Central Ave White Plains, New York, 10606. Diamonds in the cars. They got million dollar houses. Have you seen ours? See, we get mesmerized and fail to recognize that they don't sympathize. A hundred dollars for all adults, 17 and over. Kids are for free. Start sending in your funds today. Well, I help you. What is Revelation about to reveal about Christ? Something that we never knew growing up in church. While we singing and dancing and clapping and shouting and doing all that nonsense, we never actually learn anything in these damn churches, man. We never learn anything in these churches. Yeah, you know how you know? Because the drug dealers is in the church. The whores is in the church. The child molesters is in the church. You know how many black people are molested and raped in church? You know how you know? I'm not making this up. Black people know this to be a fact. The churches are the reason why there's so many black people walking around here and hurt, suffering in silence, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the church is the house of Satan. You know why? Because they push this image. They push this image right here. Christ is not a white boy. Christ is not a white man. You know how you know? The Bible says something different. If the church followed the Bible, then why they don't have the real image of Christ? I help you. This is what the Bible says about Christ. And we're going to show you something, how the Christian church has been lying. We. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. And the Bible says in the midst of seven candlesticks is one likened unto the Son of Man. The seven candlesticks represent the seven schools in Asia Minor, man. It was seven schools. Keep reading. One clothed with a garment down to the foot. One clothed with a garment down to the foot. Christ, this is describing Christ's appearance, man. And Christ had a garment that was down to the foot. Keep reading. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Golden, he had, Christ had a golden girdle around his paps. You know what the pap mean? Pap mean your midsection. Christ had a war belt along his midsection. Keep reading. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Hold on, read that again. Now, the Bible's going to describe Christ, man. I know it hurts to hear the truth. You know why? Because the Christian church has violated our people. The Christian church has lied to our people. So I know it hurts. I know it hurts, man. Black people are walking around suffering in silence because of the white supremacy of Christianity, because of the wickedness of Christianity. I know it hurts, but guess what? You know what's going to heal our people? You know what's going to fix our people? You know it's gonna stop the black on black crime. You know it's gonna stop the abortions. You know it's gonna stop the murder, man. The truth. The truth is what's gonna save our people, man. Fighting the truth is not gonna fix our people. Fighting the truth is not going to heal us. Only thing that's gonna heal our people is the goddamn truth, man. And guess what? We don't come out here to be liked. We don't come out here to be friends. You wanna be a friend and be liked? Go back to that sexual deviant church that you in, man. Nobody's talking and speaking up about our children being violated in these churches and our women, man. The Bible's describing Christ. And in the Christian church, they never describe the real image of Christ, man. What y'all saw that the scriptures say when Christ spoke, the demons came out. Right. What y'all saw that? I thought she was joking at first. 
but she was really crying and suffering right. because somebody done violated that young girl and she ain't never get no justice. Right. So to be walking down the streets of America enjoying your life full of lust and whatever else they're into and to hear somebody call your life out who don't even know you, it pains. Right. And that's what he's saying. Most of our people, the reason why we got so much mental issues because we've been done been violated at a young age. Right. They had to drag her across the street. Right. She in tears because somebody in your Christian church done molest this child, done rape this child, and y'all ain't saying nothing. Right. Y'all still giving pastor tithes, your woman still cooking a meal for that damn rapist right. and that damn child molester, and young girls like her hurts. Right. Young brothers too. That's why we say the Christian church is the house of Satan, That's man. Right. The Christian church is a whole house. Right. And cry and God should burn them down flat. That's Not right. with no arseness, but with just a bolt of lightning. Let them catch on fire all tonight and die. That's and right. burn down to the ground. That because right. they're full of child molesters and rapists, man. Right. They're full of the bones of the innocent people of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You see that pain that sister had, right. and nobody ain't did a damn thing. Everybody just shot. Right. Everybody looking at her like, wow, she crazy. She, no, you crazy, because right. you going to church. You supporting her child molester. Right. You supporting her rapist. But you look at us like we crazy. You crazy, nigga. Right. Get that cap in the hand, man. That's the problem with the black community, man. The Christian church, and as long as we patronize these churches, our children will be allowed to be molested, man. Read where you at. This, this scripture right here is describing the real image of Christ. You know why? You have to ask yourself, why would the Bible have to describe the image of Christ? You know why? Because the Bible prophesied a certain people lying about who Christ really is. The Bible prophesied it would be a certain people that would try to make Christ the greatest man that ever walked the face of the earth into a white man. You know who that is. They do it now. We call them, listen, black people, we call them culture vultures. This right here is the greatest act of a culture vulture. Taking Christ and making him to a white man when the Bible says something different. Read. His head and his hairs. Now the Bible's describing Christ's head and his hairs. When it says his head, it's referring to the hair on his head and his beard. His head and his hairs, man. Keep reading. We're white. We're what? White, like wool. Now right here, it's, just, it's describing a color and a texture. It said Christ's hair was white, that's the color, like wool. Wool is the texture. This is not hard. This is not hard. What people on the face of the earth have woolly hair? Who? Us. There you go, says me, him, him, us. We have woolly hair. Later on, they changed the name to make us feel bad about it, so what we call it now, nappy, nappy. We starting to get some more pride back in our hair. You see a lot more black women wearing their natural hair now. Instead of saying nappy, now they say, yeah, I'm kinky. I got kinky hair. They put a more positive spin to it. But in the Bible, it calls it woolly. And we all know it's only one people that have woolly hair. Blacks. That's right. That's who the Bible's describing. Right here, it's saying that, just like that. That's our hair, man. And Christ had the same type of texture. Does this image have a woolly hair? And this image right here that everybody knows to be Christ, does he have woolly hair? Absolutely not. Strike one. Keep reading. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. You know why? It's not used to walk the water, sir. His eyes were as a flame of fire. You know why? Uh oh, my the hurts of Christians feel us because according to the Bible, we are allowed to drink. Christ had a little wine, man. And what happens to black men's eyes when they drink? Everybody knows, our eyes, the whites of our eyes turn red. That's what happens. You know why? Because Christ was a black man that went through the same things we went through. Christ went through oppression as well. Christ went through hell as well, man. Guess what? Christ came in the same way that we live so that we can see how to navigate. We have to live how Christ lived because he suffered under the oppression of the white man as well. Guess what? We under America right now. When Christ was around, they were under the Romans. Everybody knows the Romans historically were white people. And Christ spoke against the Romans, man. This is the way we speak against America now. BK presents the Lord's 51st annual Passover. It's crazy, y'all. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. Back in 1985,
I came in the Israelite School of UPK. There were 20 wooden chairs on the men's side. And those chairs weren't even filled up. Less on the women's side. Now we are at the arena. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to a moment. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser. I don't like people either. I don't care if your Nas a Jigga ain't want to meet you. Just give me my motherfucking check if we do a feature. Tell Michael Jordan he can keep his fucking sneakers. Walk inside your favorite church and just drop your preacher. Cause he ain't gonna drop the right shit that he should teach you. But what about Obama? Nigga, I don't like him either. What has he done for us? We're gonna be located at the Westchester County Center, 198 Central Ave. White Plains, New York, 10606. Diamonds in the cars. They got million dollar houses. Have you seen ours? See, we get mesmerized and fail to recognize that they don't sympathize. A hundred dollars for all adult 17 and over. Kids are for free. Start sending in your funds today. For booking information, check us out on the ISUPA 51st Annual Pass Over Facebook page. More updates will be available soon. Last but not least, Israel, Commander General Yohanna will be accepting the men willing to stand for the Hebrew Academy 2021. If you're a black, Hispanic, or Native American Indian male, and you want to participate in Hebrew Academy 2021, contact the nearest camp leader in your city to see if you got what it takes to be a soldier in the Army of Christ under Commanding General Yohan. ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st Annual Passover.